Number four of the frustrations that I've had along my journey in network marketing. This next frustration is a pretty big one for me. Uh, I'm, it's about the people that have come into my business that you know have called me later complaining about their success and the reason being is that they're just not treating it like a real business. You know, this industry is amazing. You can make more money than you can make at almost any job in corporate America. This is CEO income and bonuses. But a lot of people just don't treat it like that. You know, I've owned a grocery store, a business where I paid, you know, several hundred thousand dollars and I just couldn't let it fail. And so I had to work and do whatever it took in order to get my business up and running and off the ground. So the problem with a lot of these businesses, network marketing businesses, are, is that they don't cost enough to get started. So people don't take it seriously. I mean, that's a good plus in this business that you know you can get started for a, in, for a few hundred or a couple thousand at the most. But you know that's also a downfall because if you didn't spend very much money to get up and rolling, then it's pretty easy to walk away or really to never get started in the first place. So what I see is a lot of people who don't realize the potential here and they get started um, in their spare time. I mean, really spare time. You can work your business part time or you can work your business full time, but you can't do it in your spare time because folks, we never have any spare time. Right. And so people will call me complaining about the results they're getting and I'll be you know, asking them, what have you been doing in your business? And we realize they haven't been doing too much of anything, but they still want to see those huge, huge dollars and those big results. So that's a big frustration. It's, you know, it's just one of those things. And I've, I've found out as I've been around the block a few times here is that I can't help those people. I can show them what it is that they have in their hands and I can encourage them to really work their business because it'll certainly play them better than any job ever will if they just do it. But I can't babysit them, you know, and try and do it for them. But uh, as I look back, I realize that there were a number of years where I really wanted to help people so badly that I did try to do that. But the reality is if they'll just realize what they have and they'll work it like they are the CEO of their own enterprise, even if they do it part time, the results will just be phenomenal and they won't be calling anybody to complain. They'd be calling to thank me.